Hey, 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 all of you beautiful souls. What is one of the greatest resistance creators out there while listening to subliminals? Well, I mentioned it a lot of, you know, a lot of my videos, how you truly understand and discover yourself on the inside. You now have an authentic self-love where you accept yourself and you're able to accept others. But when you don't truly haven't discovered yourself on the inside, right, there, there's a lot of inner confliction. And I talk about it in my online subliminal class, right? So listen very carefully, guys or folks. I talk about it in my online class that I don't. I use. I write all subliminals in first person. I am. I am. I am. For this exact reason, because when you discover yourself on the inside, right, you only have one voice, and this is the whole debate between free will and non-free will, right? So when you discover yourself, your true self on the inside, you now have one voice, and you can choose what subliminals you're going to listen to and there's not an ego there's no ego or pride you know blocking you from changing right change is good because you've embraced yourself and you're living from within you're living through the vibration of love where you don't need to control or force your subliminal results instead you just through love or faith or an understanding you love you love the subconscious mind you love yourself to where you're able to achieve amazing, miraculous results, right? Because that's what the vibration of love is referred to as the vibration of miracles too, right? So I'm not saying though that, you know, you're not going to have bad thoughts and you shouldn't feel guilty when you get bad thoughts. There's good thoughts and there's bad thoughts, but you don't just try to force and control or push away those bad thoughts. You listen and then you respond with love. For example, when a bad thought comes, you say, okay, okay, but I'm sorry, that's not who I am, or I, okay, but I'm, 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 that's, I'm not going to do that, right, that's, that's not who I am, and you just keep, you just keep going, you just keep going on with your day, it's that simple, right, but you got to understand and love yourself first on the inside to where you're able to, you know, respect yourself for who you are, and approve of who you are, where you're not seeking other people's approval and other people's respect to where you don't care about other people's opinions about you, right? Because you you already accept yourself, right? There's no ego there. And this is where the whole resistance comes from, right? When listening to subliminals, this, this, is, this is exactly where it comes from. So folks, I've said it time and time again, and I wanted to tie this in with a little twist on how it's relevant to subliminals and resistance. You all are so beautiful on the inside. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. Don't ever forget that. You have a beautiful week, as I mentioned, guys and gals. Keep loving yourself from within and keep moving forward. There is nothing, nothing that the subconscious mind cannot do.